So this is a follow-up video on the rocket nozzle video I did a little while ago and I wanted to go over what happened in that video and such. One thing you can notice in the video, if you've seen it, is that the flames don't really stick to the outside of the nozzle. Ignore, ignore this burn mark, but the flames don't really stick to the outside of it, meaning that the pressure inside is not high enough for it to start expanding out through the throat. And as well as this is a convergent divergent nozzle and it only really works when you have Supersonic flow which this throat hole is not Well small enough to create enough pressure as well as the bottle that I was using was not that big to create a lot of pressure Another thing I wanted to go over was that I thought I was being conservative with how thick this plastic is because I believed it was thick enough but after using it I realized that there were cracks as you can see about here here and other smaller cracks but that all they all formed from when it was that small use in the small bottle which makes me believe that this plastic isn't as strong as I thought and I thought I was being really conservative with this thickness now I might make a video on convergent, convergent, divergent nozzles, but only if it's requested, because if you already know about it, or if not many people would be interested in it, there's no point in making it, really. But as I was saying, I'm currently working on a better design that I can easily slip into the bottle cap of a two liter bottle and super glue it and be able to just use it from there. Because the reason you saw it on that small bot bottle in the video is due to the fact that I, uh, this is not the right size. And I hope that the one that should fit in a bottle cap is the right size. It'll be have a smaller throat diameter. It'll have a smaller, um, diameter here. And it, instead of using this plastic trying to contain all that pressure, almost dropped it, I will be using the bottle itself because this is going to be inside the bottle. What I plan on doing is drilling a big hole in the bottom of the bo in the bottle cap, which I can slip this in part of the nozzle through and have this one on the inside. It's hard to explain. I will maybe draw it out another day or just show you when I have the 3D print itself. So yeah. So overall, this nozzle didn't have much use, but is more as a proof of concept. And since that proof of concept, I've thought of better ways that I could make a nozzle such as this, as well as a better design, because it's not the best. And I hope that I can get supersonic flow in the next one. But trying to achieve those pressures is very dangerous. I might make a follow-up video on the bottle rocket that blew up because the pressure was too high and maybe it'll show you the dangers of all of this and I'll leave the video to the rocket nozzle and the rocket blown up in the description if you'd want a video about why the bottle rocket that was gonna fly blew up and was only airborne for at most a second or two uh, comment down below if you like this video or are interested in more, go ahead and comment or subscribe and let me know. I'm free to answer any questions in the comments. I'd be glad to. And uh, on another note, I do not have a degree in anything. I am just getting all my knowledge from the internet and the internet sometimes is not very trustworthy. I am though creating a rocket team at my school, which I'll be learning a lot more from due to a teacher that's helping us out that has a degree in aerospace engineering, which is rocket science. So hopefully I'll be able to learn a lot more there as well as continue to innovate in the designs I have here at home. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, have a good day.